Welcome guys, this is P. Madan Morgan coming to you from Jasmine Infotech. We know now what is the sampling theorem. That is the sampling rate must be at least greater than or equal to twice the maximum frequency component in the input signal. If we violate this, what will happen? That is our topic of interest today. If we violate the sampling theorem, aliasing will occur. We will see in this session what is the effect of aliasing and how to avoid it. If you violate the sampling theorem, aliasing will occur which will destroy our spectrum of interest. The high frequency components above fs by 2 will fall back and corrupt the spectrum. In fact, the high frequency components are look like low frequency components. So we will lose our information and end up with the wrong information. Let's see with one example how this is happening. Here the first case is the no aliasing case. We have taken a simple component of 1 8 and the sampling frequency of 8 8 1 8 is less than fs by 2 that is 4 8 So there is no aliasing. We can represent it in the faithful spectrum without any problem. So this is the case of aliasing. We have taken two components, 1 8 and 9 8 with the sampling frequency of 8 8 There is no problem for 1 8 because it is less than fs by 2 but the 9 8 signal is above fs by 2 and it will fall back in our original spectrum. So the 9 8 is fall back on the 1 8 signal and thereby increasing its amplitude further. So the high frequency of 9 8 is fall back in the original faithful spectrum and looked like a low frequency of 1 8. In this diagram, we can find out the aliasing frequencies just by drawing a straight line from a particular frequency component on the meeting points of the same slanting edges or the aliasing components. These are the same slanting edges. So 9 8 is aliased with 1 8. Similarly, minus 7 8 is aliased with 1 8. In the same way, 6 8 and minus 10 8 are aliased with minus 2 8. Come back to our previous example where we have started with two components and end up with only one component. This is the very big problem. If we take this and process it further, we obviously end up with wrong information. So how to avoid this problem? Let's see that in the next slide. Obviously, if we want to accommodate the 9 8 signal, then we have to choose the sampling frequency of 18 8. The sampling theorem. The sampling rate must be at least greater than or equal to 2 f max. Here, f max is 9 8 and 2 f max is 18 8. With this sampling rate, the spectrum of interest is now from minus 9 to plus 9. So, we can accommodate both 1 8 and 9 8 without any problem at all. So, we have seen in this part what is aliasing, what is the effect of aliasing and how to avoid it. The frequency components above fs by 2 is gonna go to alias and it is gonna go to corrupt the spectrum and by increasing the sampling frequency to 2 f max, the aliasing will be avoided. Okay, if you have any comments and suggestions, please send it to the email id pmadan.edu at gmail.com. This is P. Madan Morgan for Power DSP Lessons. Mute you again. Until then, bye-bye.